after the defeat of the AI, we have thus entered the end times. And only King knows where we will go from here. With their semi-artificial AI. Or maybe artificial AI, nobody really knows. His, his eye is too big for AI to calculate. Ha 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 ha! Welcome on in everybody this week's Steam Library to we, we, we. I, okay, I enjoy I enjoy the random ow. I enjoy the random shenanigans we had and like the the, the pre-stream load up chat. Just it, 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 all the all the silliness is highly approved of. But yeah, welcome in King, welcome in Moxie. How y'all doing tonight? But uh, yeah, so we have a very classic game that was it, it, this was kind of upscaled, but not as much as they technically could have upscaled it. Yeah, obviously you can see what game it is by looking at the uh, the category on, on Twitch. But uh, yeah, we're doing doing the remake of Secret of Mana tonight, which I'm just now noticing has at least for its recent reviews is listed as mixed according to Steam. Which I'm kind of curious of the, the reasoning for that. Uh, so recently this one was both. That's not recent. I deba deba. Ah, King. Ah. Or sis. Yeah, about that. I, I may have used that as a, uh, a chew toy. So uh, I, I hope I'm not altering your plans uh, too much. Here. Thank you so much though for the, the for the heckin' nine months of subscription, King. And also, you actually reached the 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 fame number. So now that you're at nine months, so most streamers will do like the little stream baby thing, where you hit nine months, you get like a stream baby. Yeah, you can name one or not. We do a different thing around here. What we do is, instead of a stream baby, you get to either uh, provide either a, a feline character or just like any kind of cat of any kind, like if it's a, your real cat or just a random cat you find on the internet, submit anything like that and we'll add it to the, the staff and or cat crew of the Ketchup Cafe. And at some point, once I get like enough people, like kind of up, yes Demi, you need to give me that. I, I, I know you had said you had an idea about that earlier and hopefully you get that to me at some point, but you also welcome on in Demi, how are you doing tonight? But yeah. You need to do that, so King and Demi, both of you need, need to get in touch with me. G get, give me like a cat, and, and give me like a little bit of a bio for like either the, the cats, the Anthrocast staff, or the cat for the cat cafe thing. You literally paid Monster in the last week of God Snapshot. Demi, how could you? Ah! I mean, I, I, I suppose at least that doesn't seem like it's too much of a, a task to go through at least. It's just, uh, just a little snapshot, but yeah, just... Uh, give, give, put, it, put it like a sticky note on your forehead and maybe that'll help you remember like when the time comes like when you see the note fall off I'm like oh yeah I was supposed to be doing this I should go do that but yeah so like I said uh, get, get in touch with me on discord uh, give me like the uh, an anthro cat of some kind or a regular cat and give me a little bit of a, bit of a bio for it kind of a little bit of a detail like personality stuff like that and I'll see what, what I can eventually do with getting like a, a maybe like maybe an RP set up for like a bunch of people kind of reach, reach that mark stuff like that I, I would love to be able to get enough people to like, make that a thing i don't know how long it's going to take but as, as soon as as soon as we get like a good number i do definitely plan on doing that so there, there will be a thing later on for it but uh yeah for now let's go ahead and start uh, getting the game up oh yeah i was gonna read over the reviews so apparently there was some uh quote mixed reviews for this game recently uh let me see where the recent uh not recommended are because for some reason despite clicking on recent reviews it still directs me to like most of the the quote most helpful reviews but, uh, did you... Okay, I guess a bunch of people were complaining about crashes? Is what it sounds like? Terrible. Okay, apparently for one person, they actually couldn't get through the main menu without a controller. Interesting. I mean, I'm using controllers, so it's not gonna be that big a deal, but yeah. Uh... Okay, somebody said a remake of an SNES... Uh, not an SNES game, just a remake of an SNES. So, so they, they, they remade an entire console and put it in a game file. A remake of an SNES, they did nothing to improve the quality of it in any way, shape, or form. I mean, technically just adding another dimension is a, is a form of improvement. That That's at least something. Uh, to do... Yeah, I so, saw... I guess the last part is a bit spoilery, but yeah, you, you are hard required to upgrade at least one weapon to max before the final boss. I do know that much. I never actually got to, like, the, the final game, uh, final part of this game, like, when I played it naturally as a kid. Because I, I always kept getting so lost when I got to, like, I think, like, the second or third, uh, whatever MacGuffin you had to use, something like that. Okay, so this is, this is probably what, I, this review here is probably how I would describe the game as a whole. Looks nice. Sounds nice but has some of the worst combat ever experienced. Now, I wouldn't go as far as say it's the worst combat ever. There's definitely games that are far worse than combat. 
However, the gameplay is, in my opinion, not that good for Secret of Mana. Just, just straight up. It's, it's like they try to do a combination of like real-time battles and turn-based battles using the worst. Oh, sorry, I bumped my, I bumped my mic there. Using the worst aspects of both. That, that, that's one of the reasons why I've never really considered Secret of Mana to be necessarily that good of a game personally. I'm sure there are going to be some people who are going to yell at me for that. But yeah, that, that, that's how I feel about that particular game. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get the game actually running. Uh, where's the run button? There it is. So play now. Uh, also, it has a really weird like opening, opening menu music. I don't know why that's what it is. Also, I love how a window will never stay in the same place after I close it. Over the next time. Uh, you sure there's a green screen thing for Monster Hunter? Uh, I know there is. So if you have time after the stream demo and you have access to uh, Paint 3D from like a, a Windows operating system, I can show you kind of how to get like background elements taken out of a particular image. Because I've, I've kind of figured out how to do some bits of that. that that's how we've got uh, the one emote that uh, Jesse has. Let me post it in here real quick. So this emote right here that Jesse added a while back, I actually uh, basically... Oh, you know how to do that, okay. Yeah, it, it is kind of tedious, especially if you want to make it like look proper. But yeah, I, I basically used that uh, method in order to get uh, that emote set up for Jesse. It was actually kind of fun and actually kind of nice. Because that was actually the first time I've ever like seriously tried to use that feature for like anything. And it was actually really cool to do it for like somebody else and uh, kind of like help them through their channel in some way. It just... Yeah, it, it was definitely fun, but... Anyway. Let's go into the secret... Actually, no, I still need to read the uh, storm or Steam store page blurb. Okay. Hey, it's actually really loud in my head, so let me turn that down a bit. The memorable adventure of Randy, Prim, and Popoy is reborn as Secret of Mana. Originally released, released in 1993, Secret of Mana is by far the most popular title in the Mana series, and now has undergone a much-awaited full 3D remake. See, so I haven't necessarily played a lot of Mana games, but I'm actually of the opinion that Legend of Mana is probably a better game than Secret of Mana. So I feel like the the way the the quote unquote turn based mechanics work isn't nearly as bad in Legend of Zelda or Legend of Zelda, Legend of Mana. So if I had to pick between the two games, I would definitely pick Legend any day of the week. But at the same time, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock Secret of Mana for like its uh, originality. Okay. I guess originality would be kind of the right term. Uh, let's make sure. Okay, so dash. I feel like that's about the original control scheme. So go with that. You can change the item limit? Okay, I wish it was a higher limit, because I'm not really much a fan of like individual item limits, honestly. I kind of wish you could maybe turn this higher, but I guess 12 ain't bad. Because I think there were some items that were limited to like six in the original game. Uh, screen settings, I got all that set up. Shouldn't need any of those, shouldn't need any of those. Game commits? Oh, just the button, stuff like that. So right trigger and left trigger are not used, that's fair. Which menu assign shortcuts? Yep, sounds about right. Alright. Let's go ahead and begin. Oh yeah, so I got my old save file too. Wait, I only have 45 minutes? Hold on. Because according to Steam, I've had like two and a half hours playing this game before. Where did two of those hours go? Oh, it might be one of the things where like maybe I game overed and the game didn't have like a Really good checkpoint system. That's something I'm gonna have to consider at some point. Okay, so we'll do a new game. Audio and language in English. Okay, Thai is not a language you see commonly for subtitles. That's kind of cool. Yeah, and the thing is, if I remember correctly, the original character names were actually never like quote unquote mentioned. Well, at least not in game or anything like that. Maybe the instruction manual, but I don't remember what the instruction manual was for this. But yeah, I just remember I never actually knew the character's like original name, stuff like that. Like kind of like also didn't know that the 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 sprite, the Popoy, apparently they're supposed to be male. I never knew they were male. I thought they were female like the entire time because I never actually knew the proper name or anything about them. Maybe nowadays it'd probably be considered like a gender or whatnot, but. Like, uh, if, if the game were, like, developed today. Oh. The world prospered and humanity thrived thanks to a power known as mana. Not the good energy drink, just saying. However, humans soon sought to use mana to create the ultimate weapon. A floating battleship called the Mana Fortress. This greedy arrogance 
angered the gods, who in turn unleashed vicious beasts into the world. I feel like that, that'd be something that uh, Kefka would try to have built in Final Fantasy VI in like a previous, in like a different uh, iteration. Bleakest hour, a hero wielding the mana sword appeared and destroyed the fortress. The world was left in shambles, and yet humanity persevered, and there was peace throughout the land. Until now. But as time passes, so history repeats. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. Now loading. I forget if there's voice hey. acting in this. Guys! Wait! Up! Whoa. Okay, good to know there's voice acting. Be quiet, stupid. If the Elder finds us here, we're done for. Yeah. We're not supposed to be here. Everyone yeah, in the village knows about the ghost. You really believe that old fib? The grown-ups just say there's a ghost to scare us away. I think they could, they could invest it some bit in, like, talking animations. But I did hear Grandma say she saw something shiny by the falls when she was little. Maybe it's treasure. Let's go find it. Uh, help! I'm gonna fall! Ah! Perma Angie face. You, you gotta imagine that hurts after a while. Not, not the falling, just the angry face. There's no way back up. Now what am I gonna do? I will say one of the small touches I love about the remake is that the mini map on the top right is literally just the original game map. And you can just use that as a kind of like follow around. It's like a one for one recreation. I, I love that bit. Yeah, until we actually get our uh, stamina bar, we can literally run forever. Maybe not. Huh? Shiny rusty sword. The village is this way, but I'll never get through here without a weapon. Yeah, you totally can't just like slowly step over and around the plants. That 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 is physically impossible. Left up now. Listen. I entrust the sword to you. Huh? What do you mean? What's up with this sword? The light's fading already. Yay, we got a poop sword. And yeah, that little gauge on there, every time I swing and it starts going back up from like 0 to 100%, that, that's the game's attempt at trying to do like proper turn base thing. What's a rabbi doing in a place like this? Yeah, so if you attack at 100%, you're, you obviously attack at full strength, stuff like that. If you attack at any percentage less than that, you're doing, like, at most a quarter of the damage possible. 
I think even if you attack at like 90%, you do like a third damage. So there's like really no point in trying to like kind of just kind of quote press the advantage when you get opportunities. It's you have to wait literally for your turn. And if you attack too fast, they won't even take the, the hits. Or they'll take them super slowly to the point where you don't even really notice it. Like if I keep doing this. I mean, it is technically getting hit, but it's it's just it's it's not satisfying. Yeah, you just and the thing is, it, it's not really as bad if you're just doing basic attacks. Then it's just okay. Just learn a little bit of a bit of a rhythm for the fighting, then you're good to go. But then when you start getting the weapon skills. In order to activate weapon skills, you have to hold down the attack button for a certain amount of time, basically equal to the weapon's level to use the higher level abilities, and it charges so freaking slowly. Well, once you get to that point, I'll, I'll kind of show you just how slow it is, and just kind of one of, the, why, one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of the actual gameplay for this, as far as the combat goes, at least. Yay, critical. And unfortunately, you always do a critical hit when the regular hit would have already killed him. I'm also not sure if I'm able to actually, like, actively dodge at all, because I feel like each of the misses, I press the attack button right as they're attacking me. And I don't know if that's just coincidence or if that's actually a mechanic. No, I think just coincidence. I didn't press anything there. Hey, weapon leveled up. Okay, I think I actually, actually like, level up. Oh, no, I ignored it right now. And, yeah, and then if you miss, you lose all, like, control of what you're trying to do. So you have to hold the button down the entire time. And you hope that you don't get interrupted in the meantime with an attack. Handy. And especially given that you also move, like, so much slower afterward, too. And, yeah, there's, there's just no defending yourself when you're waiting for it, either. More candy. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, at least if you angle it right, you can actually get that like that, you can get like multiple hits in one attack, stuff like that, which is oh god. Where did you come from? I'm getting a lot of candy drops at least. Okay, so is the game just like respawning them as they go far enough away from the screen? So I think that's how the original game did, like, the enemy spawning as well. Just as long as you move far enough away, everything will just respawn automatically. Okay, that was actually perfect, very cool. Did you see that? Something lit up the sky near the falls a moment ago. Yeah, I have no idea what that could have been. It probably wasn't me. Oh no, I, I, I see, I've seen those challenge videos. They take literally hundreds of hours. I'm just like, oh God, no. I want your hat. Give me your hat. There's an unfamiliar face here. It looks kind of scary. I don't know. Okay, I worry about the, the storyline in a bit. I forget if we can actually buy anything here or not. Also, the dancing shopkeepers. Every single shopkeeper. I think this is something they actually added on, like, the lore in the remake, where they actually have, like, some kind of curse, I think. Where as long as they're, like, on the job trying to sell stuff, they have to dance like this constantly. Ellipses. Oh, it's you. Elliot just stopped by, but he didn't look too good. What happened? Permanent angry face. Oh, I can't buy anything from you. I think that guy is a knight. What's he doing in a little village like ours? Maybe he's trying to be a day instead. One night is five GP. Okay, I didn't think I'd have to have to or spend money in my hometown. Okay. That's kind of annoying. Okay, here's the item shop. The elder was looking for you. What did you do this time? What didn't I do is the question. Okay, so we have 
Oh, that recovers 100 HP? I remember doing that much. Okay, so... Okay, so the up arrows then show its acting improvement. Oh, we don't have, have enough money for the bandana, though. Come again. That's unfortunate. I guess we could probably sell a candy, but... There'll be something coming up where we get a bunch of money soon, anyway. Oh, you're all right. Elliot just told me what happened. Oh, I thought you were a goner. That's why I told you not to bring someone like him along. You idiots. None of you were supposed to wander into that area. What's that you have there? Oh, no. It couldn't be. Cool. Did you find the treasure? What do you got? What have you done? That's the mana sword. There's no way you could have pulled it free. Oh, thanks for the confidence boost. Mana sword? But legend says the village will be destroyed if it's removed. I never thought it'd come to this. The mana sword is said to protect the village from disaster. But now. Aha! So you're the reason all those monsters are attacking us. No, it's your fault because you didn't save me. Oh, that's just rude. Hey. Hey, stop! Shut up. It's all your fault. This is second grade assault. Or second degree assault. Oh dear. Well, game over. Nice. It's, it's been nice playing, everybody. Also, I love the intro for this boss theme. The rest of it is extremely monotonous, which is unfortunate. Oh god, what? Okay. Okay, hey, goodbye, bye. Oh my god, please. Uh. Okay, I was down for way too damn long. What do you mean I didn't attack? That's what releasing is supposed to do is supposed to let me actually unleash the attack. There. Yay, we, we beat it. But yeah, especially for the time it takes to charge it, it doesn't even really do that much extra damage. Way to go! Obtained sword or You did well. Wait there. I'll pull you up. Also known as a sword. So stay back. I didn't do nothing. You, 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 you shut your face. You seem to be in possession of the real mana sword. Uh, this is troubling. Why is that? The legend says the sword can only be retrieved by a knight when the world is in peril. But you are far too young for such a responsibility. Something must be wrong with the mana sword. Yeah, it's made out of poop. Here, you take it. No, I cannot. The sword has lost its power. It must be restored. Only the one who pulled it free can do that. Then wah, wah. what should I do? Visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. The Sage has protected these lands for over 200 years. You would do well to listen to her advice. Hey! The Elder wants you to come to his house. I'll be off. I have duties to attend. My name is Jimma, and I'll be waiting for you at the Water Palace. I still feel like it wasn't too much to ask them to just make, like, opening mouth animation when they talk. You know, it's literally just, like, a, a one-frame animation with, like, bah, 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 stuff like that. Elder, we can't ignore this. We're at our wit's end. Who knows when another monster will appear? Hmm. Oh, it's you. You've really done it this time. That sword has protected us for years. 
Once you removed it, the monster started attacking the village. It's settled. We can't let him stay in the village anymore. He'll just bring more monsters. Was there anything actually in the lore that says like the monsters are necessarily drawn to the sword or anything like that? Because I, I feel like they're making a lot of uh, uneducated guesses right now. Go! Get out of here! Yeah! yeah leave leave here, here now! He almost fell into the table. <sighs> I don't want to do this, but... I have no choice. I banish you from this village. There's a treasure chest downstairs. Take the contents and be on your way. Yay, free loot. Give me loot. Are you going somewhere? See you later. Anything useful? Okay, 50 money. That will in fact be enough for uh, the, the bandana. I took you in as a child, but there's nothing more I can do for you. Forgive me. You wouldn't remember. You were just a baby. But I was there when your mother first came to this village. After she disappeared, I did my best to raise you. But today is the day we must part ways. I hope that you find your mother again someday. Goodbye. I actually legit don't know if that plot point or, or presumed plot point ever gets like addressed later on. So let's go get our equipment. We should be finding the candy because we got like four of those for free on the way. Selling you stuff because the elder said I had to. When you're done, get out of here. Welcome. So heckin' rude. What'll it be? And then so unrude. Also, we got like a hundred money just for the boss alone. We already have that equipped. That doesn't give us any bonus. This does. Then I don't think really. Yeah, we don't really need much else. At least for a, a, a short term, we're not going to have any use for medical herb because there's nobody else to use this on us. And then ghosted play. I, I, I love how uh, the dead slash knocked out status is just called ghosted in this one. They, they don't want to necessarily call Anything you else? dead. You know you're, you know, else? dead. You have to equip the armor before it'll have any effect. Got it? Now scram. Rudest dance ever. Okay, I thought the things were the other way around. Welcome on in, Arcade. How you doing tonight? Okay, I need to actually switch that in the settings. Uh, how do I get to... S I just in here somewhere. Uh, targeting, status, game log, guide, magical... Options. Uh, to do... Where is it? Key oh, not, not keyboard. Controls. There we go. That makes more sense. Yeah, Y for the allies, X for me. Okay, so. Equipment. Holy crap, that gives us a lot of evade. Good lord. Okay, so I'm guessing certain items will increase our resistances to status, uh, status effects. It's actually cool how they show, like, little things down there to re represent what that is. Oh, you can also just go through other menus here, too. Nice. That enemy is not talking about allies, so it, so this is for if uh, the AI is controlling this particular character. Uh, no, if I'm not controlling it, I don't really so much care about the wait time. Will it do that? Uh, two orbs, uh, one percent or one level so far. Yeah, do your little bat dance. Assert your dominance. Um. Um. I can't do anything. Okay. Um. Did my controller just like give up again? Hold on. Let me let me try turning on and off Bluetooth. That's not what I wanted to open up. Bluetooth. Turn that off. Turn it back on. Turn this back on. I thought the game like froze up or something there for a bit. So theoretically, we should be back connected. Okay. Yeah, I guess the controller just disconnected randomly. That, that's one thing I've, I've never understood why it happens. Like every now and again, my PS5 controller would just, like, not... Or just, like, disconnect from the computer. I had to turn Bluetooth off and on entirely to make it work again. 
At least I figured out that part of how to fix it, but... Yeah, hopefully when I do get my... Well, hopefully get my new computer within a few months, I can be able to, like, get that fixed permanently. Because I wonder if part of it is just, like, the... Because I do have a lot of stuff between the Bluetooth receiver and the controller itself. There's probably just a lot of, like, interference going on. But, yeah. Do you have everything you need? Yep. By order of the Elder, you have been banished from Poto's village. Now be gone! By order of the Elder, you have been banished from Poto's village. Now be gone! It's sad day. Oh, hi. You're literally right in front of my face. Okay, we're getting close to one shot, at least. Yeah, I wonder what's down this path. Look at that heckin' cannon. It's absolutely perfectly person-sized. We, the Cannon Travel Brothers, are building a global network. I don't remember you being this ripped. Going to the Water Palace? Gemma's already left. It only takes one blast to get there by cannon. And Gemma's paid your way. Hop in. Yay, free ride. Thank you. That's the spirit. Just pop yourself into the barrel. He should have been dead from that. Hello? Pandora has sent us to fight Elena, the witch who lives in the haunted forest. Okay. There's a shortcut warp that leads straight to the witch, but you need a whip to cross this chasm. Oh yeah, I guess the game is also technically Metroidvania E. That's our leader, Major Dyla. He's young, but no one doubts his skill. He knows how dangerous this mission is, but I've never seen the Major waver. Major Dylark, sir! All set! Understood. Stay focused, men. Let's move out! Oh, I just want to talk to the last guy. Dang it. Well. We can technically go here, but it's not going to be a good idea. Yeah, we can't even get, like, get to the next region. Oh, right, they can still attack. Let's, uh, let's have him not. I, I think there is eventually something, something to explore at some point in the game, but I don't remember when or what that is. Is there something this way? Some unseen force is holding us back. Yeah, specifically us, when it's literally only me right now. Yeah, I thought it was something like underneath the, uh, the, the temple here or something. But I guess not. Let's go. Insta stare. Huh. So in the original version of this game, you could actually pick either side and it would still work regardless. Hey, where do I find Luca? Mind your manners. It's nice to see you again, Sage Luca. You're very welcome. Wait, you mean this little girl is too hard? Oh, I can move. Luca, monsters have started invading villages. This young boy just fought one himself. You underestimate my intelligence. World news flows into this palace with the water's own currents. Mena grows ever weaker. That could explain how this child was able to take the sword from its place of rest. His actions caused the balance of Mena in this area to shift. Beasts are now rampaging across the land again. Evil in the world is working to seal away the power of the Mana Sword forever. By defeating monsters and obtaining their orbs, you can reforge and restore the sword's mana power. It looks like your sword regained some power from vanquishing the Mantis Ant. There are more hidden orbs with the mana power to revive the sword. You must find them. I forget if you have to actually, like, bring the orbs to her in order to get them level up, or just having the orb itself is enough to make it stronger. 
I thought you didn't do something with like something in the shrine. I was once one of Sage Lucas' pupils. I studied how mana sustains our entire world and how it's been slowly fading away. Gemma, I want you to keep an eye on the Empire. It seeks the mana fortress's power. Yeah, because there's that seed looking thing on top of there that I remember being important in the original game, but I forget how. I feel like I should at least take Guy out for like dinner first. Dwarves are known for their weapon making skills. You should see if they can reforge the sword. As the sword becomes more powerful, your skills will improve and you learn more abilities. Okay, that sounded a lot worse than it was, even though I knew what it did. It sounded like Gemma just like exploded out of nowhere. Honestly, I think you'd be more afraid of the sword than the fortress. You wield the legendary mana sword, but its power has faded. Now it's hardly better than a normal weapon. It used the last of its power to choose a new master. Why me? But why did it pick me? I don't have that answer, but you drew the sword, and now it's your responsibility to restore its power. No, I just realized this game is the, the this game storyline is you break it, you buy it. So where do I fit in? You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. And pay off your debts for breaking it. I feel like it didn't have to literally be a seed either. Shiny. Pointed stick. I'll heal you. Would you like to save the game? Sure. First, take Gemma's advice and head to Gaia's Naval. There you can find the underground palace. To reach Gaia's Naval, head south through the kingdom of Pandora. Got it. Time to get lost. Literally. Okay, so I guess you can run infinitely, you just can't do an attack while in the middle of running, because then your percentage will go down to like 99 until you stop. No? Oh no, there it is. Water Palace, okay. I love how there's two different signs, and okay, the text tells us the Water Palace is up of here, but neither of the arrows are actually pointing in that direction. Game why? Okay, small amount of money. Oh, hi. Eat him. What? What kind of bull carp is that? That did like two more damage than normal. 
Yeah, that's another reason why I'm not so big on the, the skills you get either, because they just don't really do a lot. Oh no! A goblin! What? Uh. I don't remember that happening this early. Well, I, I guess this is how you get ac or get introduced to the uh, the second character. Uh, oh, we're, get, we're gonna get the spa treatment. You do not move. Stay still. Very lucky human. You will be main dish tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, can I not? No. Well, let me go. Delicious human. Very lucky. You could literally just climb out of the pot. Just wait for them to be distracted and then climb out. Dancing has begun! I join in! Yeah, like right now, you can just literally jump out on your own. Just karate threw uh, threw us out of the pot. Uh, I owe you my life. What are you doing here? I was like how we, we get dropped off at exactly the spot where we were picked up. I like being used to cook people. I, I know the character has an actual voice, but I have no idea what the voice is. So that's just what I gave him. I'm looking for someone. I saw you being taken away and thought for a second you might be him. I got the wrong guy though. What a waste of time. Wow, rude. I kind of can't. Hey, wait! I didn't even get to ask her name. And yeah, that's kind of one of the other th issues I have with the game's mechanics, that for every hit that you do on an enemy, you have to wait for the entire time on Tukens for the damage to even, like, trigger and fully go through. So, like, is it all, like, the, the worst bits of turn base with all the... With none of the benefits of the real uh, active time that it gives you. What, that, what do you mean, punch glove? Game, okay, will you stop being rude to me? Vaguely upper class British, but like an olden knight of honor. Sounds about right. I, I think I did actually see like a cutscene of that character, but it's just been so long and it wasn't really like memorable to me. Hey, nice HP. When do you actually die? Also, I have no idea where I'm going still. Auto Palace, Photos. Okay, Pandora is down here. Got it. Okay, we can come up this way, but we can't go down that way. Maybe I didn't get them both. And yeah, the, the hitboxes, at least in the remake version, is kind of questionable as far as I'm concerned. I remember the the original was also had like really weird hitboxes, but they were usually more in your your favor than anything else. The remake is just more inconsistent in general. Mushroom, mushroom. Where's the badger? Where's the badger? Where's the badger? You're still alive? Good lord. It's, it's at least not as bad when you can, like, get multiple enemies in a single hit, but still. Especially when you think you've taken an enemy out, but they're, they're like, still alive, like, five seconds later. This is the kingdom of Pandora. Okay, where's this box? I was told to let you pass when you arrived. Sir Gemma's whereabouts? He has come from Tasnica to meet with our king. 
I believe he's in the castle now. Oh, just a warning. I wouldn't try to talk to the people in town if I were. Okay. I do what I want. Ellipses. Oh, customer. Well, I don't keep much stock, but you're welcome to look. I mean, if you don't keep much stock, I feel like that's a that's a bad thing about you being a merchant. Uh, wristband. Okay. Kung Fusu, which we cannot equip, unfortunately. Oh, we'll take the wristband. Should be good in everything else right now. Anything else? Come again. All right. So equipment. Do wristband, more evade, magic defense, and regular defense. Got it. A little bit of everything. Yeah, to be fair, though, those mushroom guys, if they weren't deadly, they actually would look like pretty cuddly. My old wife's gone a bit senile. She doesn't get out and won't say a thing. Ellipses. Some townsfolk suddenly started gathering at the ruins to the south. Things have been odd around here lately. Even my grandma isn't her usual spry self. I read this note. That, that note looks like sticks out enough for I thought I could actually read it, but apparently I can't. The master and his daughter left for the castle. I believe they're working out the details of her arranged marriage. That doesn't sound fun. I'm hoping we're going to find loot in somebody's house. It'll, go, it'll probably be a wristband that we literally just bought, but... I actually don't remember if you could even enter these houses in the SNES version. Leave me alone! I don't know anything! It wasn't me! At least give me a chance to accuse you of something first. Okay, same thing. I don't think there's usually like any loot in like in or anything like that, so we'll kind of just skip that. Oh, this is awful! It's as though these townspeople have lost their will to live. Oh, an actual armor store. Or not? At least merchant still dances. At least some things are constant in this world. Okay. This is Pandora Castle. Anything over this way? Either direction? Probably not. Yeah, no. Uh, what? I was gonna say, why are you just walking into a wall? Attacked us once about fifteen years ago. Okay. I assume that went well enough. When's Tyler coming back? He promised he'd play with me. Did you know there's an enormous tree called a mana tree? That's what they tell me. Yggdrasil, as some uh, sculptures call it. Why is everybody staring at walls? What is everybody doing staring at walls? Oh, hi. My dad is infuriating. I'm in charge of my life, not him. Oh, that's her. Okay. Oh, right. You're that dummy I saved earlier. Hey, I resemble that remark. Huh. Is that a sword? I didn't know you were a swordsman. What, this? No, I'm actually... This is perfect. Now's your chance to pay me back for saving you. I need your help. We need to teach that witch a lesson. We're going to save Dyla. But I have to go to the underground palace. Save that for later. Come on, let's go. Um, whatever your name is. What's 
your name? Oh, you can call me. What will you call this young lady? I have precisely one female character I can use as a reference for this. If I can remember... Yeah, I, that's that's not... Up. Okay, fine. I guess her name is Prim. Yeah, I thought I had to hit enter to actually start entering a name, but then it wouldn't actually let me do that. That's unfortunate. What are you doing? Okay. This place is no longer my home. I'm never coming back. All right then. You're here. I suppose you've seen the state of the townspeople, yes? A little bit. The witch Eladay appears to be draining people's life energy for some unknown purpose. Once their energy is spent, the people seem to congregate near the ruins in the southern part of town. I'm heading there now to assist the situation. You should go to Gaia's naval as fast as possible. Time to casually talk to the king. What a nightmare. My people are acting like zombies, and I have no idea when the Empire might strike. My scouts say the troops I sent to fight the witch at Elman's suggestion were soundly defeated. What? You mean my dad is the reason Dylok was ordered to attack the witch's castle? This whole mess was a cowardly plot to drive Dylok and me apart! Watch your tongue! You wanna silence me? Fine, let's go. You say you were expelled from your village? Unfortunately, this realm has problems of its own. It would be best if you took your leave of this country as soon as you can. I can rude. Also, I think she has the, uh... Oh, she comes with her own weapon. Okay. So she, she she's in the fist, fisticuffs. Got it. Yeah, I think we'll stick with sword for ourselves for now. We'll let her have her, her cestus. This is the treasure vault. I will not leave my post until the hero of legend returns. Now leave. I mean, considering what's going on, you can't really blame him. Okay, so I think we still have to keep going south in order to get to the uh, the guy's naval place. I, th I think it said it was south through the. Wait, there's just two stairs upward. There's no reason for that bottom alcove. I, I, I am questioning the layout of this castle. You know that that's a fair thing to be crying about. Especially when they're both like that. Can I actually go down from here? Kinda looks like I theoretically can, but I don't know. What I mean. Yeah, so it looks like the area below there on the minimap like looks like I should be able to actually go there, but I don't know, I guess not. Here we get to meet with Gemma again. Theoretically. What is with that mask? But, but all I have is a sword. That, that'll take me like a hundred years to cut down a single branch. Or, or I could poke it with the spear. That, that, that would look good. I guess that would give me a, like a little trampoline effect so I could probably like jump up on the top of the tree, but that, that wouldn't really help though. I like the statues from Link to the Past. Depends on which statues you're talking about. I mean, they're definitely more detailed here, for for sure. How dare you attack Brem? 
what's outside Ganon's tower. Dude, I can't remember the last time I've actually looked at those specific ones. I actually don't fully remember what they look like. Because the only statues I can remember is the ones that we uh, that we pet when we touch when we hit magic bat. Honestly, outside of just like playing casual as a kid, I wasn't really that that big in Link to the Past myself until like I started playing the randomizers. Honestly, and even that though, I know there's a lot of games I've uh, a lot of games I haven't played that like other people have played, and a lot of movies I haven't seen that other people have seen. Where I, I don't necessarily like hold against anybody they haven't like played a, a game or seen a thing or whatnot. I know one thing that people are always surprised to hear is that I've never seen a single Lord of the Rings movie, nor have I read any of the books. Which I know that's been like a, a big surprise for a lot of people here as well. At least not to its completion. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played Link Between Worlds. I, I never really had the, the right console at the right time for that one. I think mean, was Link Between Worlds just Game Boy Advance or was that the DS? I actually don't really know offhand. Oh god, okay. Alright, looks like we have ads starting up uh, momentarily. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and just start running them so we can get through all this like little random exploration done during the ad break. I think we're still a good ways away from any like story sequences, so quick run of the ads, then we'll be right back to the, the, the good part of the game. It was a 3DS? Okay, got it. How, how much does that even go for these I guess no, you have Twitch over you can buy here. How much does that even go for, like on eBay these days or I guess you can technically get on Amazon, I think. Yeah, do you know how much that actually goes for, like, the physical copy of these that game? I'm kind of curious. Oh, God. Freaking... Get him. Buy a lot now that the shop is offline. Actually, twenty-five dollars does sound actually pretty reasonable for a copy of that game, as far as I'm concerned. Can I? Hmm. The thing was kind of oddly colored. Thought I could do something with it. Yeah, there's just so much delay between when you make an attack and when they actually take damage from it. I think they only practically take like one hit at a time as well. Yeah, for uh, 3DS physical games tend to go for certain titles that are hard to come by. I mean, you could say that for pretty much like any physical media or anything that's older than like 10 years at this point. Yeah, I know like, uh, I think this is technically a, uh, I think this might be a uh, Game Boy Advance, might be a DS, I don't really remember. But I know te uh, the uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2 goes for like quite a bit of money these days. So it's usually like, at, at least like three digits for the, the cost of it. Alright, it's Naval Kippo Village. I want to see Kippo Village. This is Kippo Village. Okay. Is there anything cool here? We do have a good bit of money. Elbow pad, both people. Oh, that's kind of expensive. Oh god, that's expensive. Um. Uh, let's get. Uh, how do I want to do this? Let's get the elbow pad for both of us. Anything else? Oh nope, I don't want to do that. Come again. Okay, so. You can equip yourself with the... Uh, that's not supposed to be an upgrade as I thought it was going to be. Uh, how do I... There we go. 
we have to do that. Get some bunch of evade. Okay, look. Okay, I like how she just moonwalked there. Let's sell some rolled equipment that we don't need anymore. I uh, don't need that. That's actually a decent sell value, honestly. Uh, yeah, nothing else for us to sell. Anything else? Uh, I'll buy the chain vest for myself, and I'll just save up money for the kung fu dress for later on. Anything else? Oh, hey. Anything else? Come again. Oh, that's a decent uh, defense increase. Okay. And I'll wait until latest to sell the last thing. Uh, is there anything else of note here? Any loot? No loot. My son Dylock always says he's too busy to visit, even though he practically lives next door. I mean, he does lead an entire army, to be fair. This is my home, and the missus is upstairs. My husband's brothers all look alike. Sometimes I can't tell who's who. I, I love the random southern accent there. And they know where they're up here? Apparently not. Alright. So I've got some defensive upgrades, which is, you know, not the worst thing. Alright, they respawn. Heck you guys. Loot this time, nice. It, it, it's nice not getting debated for a change. I do know we have to go down. I'll have to force up above, yeah. Destroy, all right. Down here. Hey, level up. I, I kinda like the, the genesis-y sound of the bass on this track. I feel like the, the soundtrack for the Sega Genesis was underrated, honestly. You're down a different level. I can't quite chain into you. How are you still alive? I think we lost Prim. Oh, come on. Okay, apparently they can't change levels. Good to know. Hey, level up. Oh, there she is. Hey, Prim. How you doing? Alright, be nice knowing ya. Hey, this isn't the way ah, crap, she found us. Where are you going? Underground palace? You can go by yourself. I'm not going in there. So what are you going uh, 
Fine. She's, she's kind of getting her ass kicked. There we go. Hey, no heck, heck fighting these guys. Oh, there she goes again. Wait, is there anything over here we can get? Seriously? Nothing? This game makes me sad sometimes. I do have a run button. Thank you. I love it just like a random old man that was just like not even might or not even noticing the monsters. Yeah, we keep heading this way, I guess. At least I think we head this way. Oh my god, you heard. I mean, they're doing a pretty good job at it so far, to be fair. It's doing like a whole bunch of damage. Yeah, we should probably use a uh, candy real quick. A prem. Yeah, that's one of the other weird things, is that if you're using a spell or an item on somebody, they literally just freeze in place and they can't do anything until the, the effect is resolved. Which, unfortunately, I think also eats up any, like... Oh my god, please. It also eats up any, like, attack... Oh god. Any attack input you're trying to do as well. Yeah, she is... she is so dead. What do you mean, poison? Dang it. I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. At least I can more easily dodge attacks when it's just me. Oh god. Oh come on. At least I have some decent defense. Until I die. Oh my god, how did that do so much extra? No, I do wish the amount of damage you do actually properly scales with percentage showing in the bar. That'd be nice. Okay, that's actually a decent amount of money. Alright, how much do you charge for a uh, or revive thing? Oh, that's a lot of money! I don't want to spend all that money. Uh, balls. Else? Uh, I'm not sure if we're supposed to be here or not, so I think we might just turn back around. Oh god. After just like annihilating you. Actually, yeah, can we even proceed from here? Oh. Didn't think there'd be another enemy up here. I think we could technically proceed. I don't know if we're meant to is the issue. Actually, how much money do I get? How do I see my money? That is? Okay, 543 money. Oh, come on. So, seven money from that. Wait, 
Did I get hit before he shot his arrow? That doesn't seem right. Yeah, I leveled up. I think we need the axe, yeah. Yep. Otherwise we'll never get through. There's supposed to be a dwarf blacksmith in Gaia's navel. They're supposed to be dead. He's probably got some good weapons. Fine. We can go to Gaia's navel first. Yeah, yeah, convince her. Yeah, let's see if we can just like speed run away out of this area without dying. Oh god. Why are these guys? Oh, there we go. He just spawned out of nowhere. That seems slightly cheap. Yeah, this seems like a legit time to go back to town and try to, like, rest up. Hopefully, just going to an inn gets rid of somebody's ghosted status. We should be able to get. Yeah, we don't. We have enough money to give her her karate outfit now. We should be good on that front. Assuming the inn isn't too expensive. One night is ten G. Okay, that's affordable. Hey, uh, I'm sorry you had to see my dad and me get into a fight. Not my best moment. Though now that I think about it, I've seen you look pretty lame yourself. Hey. We don't talk about that. I was ambushed, okay? Oh, yes, I'm sure. Because a real swordsman would never be caught off guard by a simple goblin. He never claimed to be, be a real swordsman, to be fair. Don't worry, I'll keep your secret. But in return, you have to help me. I'm counting on you. Yay, blackmail. Look, I already told you that I need to get to the underground palace. And I told you this is a matter of life and death. We need to stop the witch in the north. Who knows what she might have done to Dialog and his men. Well, when you put it that way... If you won't go with me, I won't waste my time looking for your silly palace. You want to split ways here? You were the one who decided to join me in the first place. Quit splitting hairs. Oh my god. Right. Yay, she revived. Yeah, there are some games where just like sleeping at an inn does not actually revive people, which gets kind of frightening. But yeah. Okay, now I gotta find the item shop so we can get her, her uh, get from her armor, which is right here. Welcome. Okay, so kung fu dress. I already got chain dress for myself. I need the hair of her too. Oh, apparently Nico actually does increase his prices. Okay, I'm getting one of these now then. That is good to know. Okay, so for you, equip the. Kung Fu dress, okay. Yeah, I saw the Kung Fu suit, I'm like, wait, I didn't equip this yet, what the hell? Okay, yeah, that's a lot more good. A lot more defense. That's definitely helpful. And more evade. Heck yeah. Yeah, just some worlds just just lack the appropriate uh, oomph in their their magicalness. I was trying to find a more entertaining way to phrase that, but nothing came out. Yeah, okay, now we should be able to actually head down to the Gaia's naval or Gaia's naval place with a full party. Which may or may not have the greatest effect, honestly. Hey, she dodged. Good on you. Yeah, imagine actually not getting hit. Such a nice concept. Oh wow, double dodge, heck yeah. Well, that frame's gone forever. 
Oh, right, there's two entrances. I forgot about that. This one, I think, just leads to Nico, yeah. Meow. What a strange special deal for. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just save real quick because why not? I think it saves over the wrong one, but oh well. And I'm assuming you still have the same. Yeah, candy 20, chocolate, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of money. Yeah, he charges like double for everything, which is even for equipment. Wow. Okay, so you basically never. This game is telling you never to buy from cats. I feel prejudice against. Slime. What do you mean, miss? Also, I think when the slime is split, they actually do kind of two completely separate creatures and they get the same amount of experience from each. Why am- why is everything missing? What do you mean I'm poisoned? I don't even know what balloon. Okay, I guess balloon just is basically like paralyzed. How did you appear just out of nowhere? Will you die, please? There. Kick him in the nuts. Or I guess in Prim's case, punch him. There we go. Change the her oh. Must have the D pad somehow. We missed. Okay, I, I love how she chose not to finish the job in that bad. Okay, so it does seem like there's like a specific animation for when they actually die out. Hello? Wait, what? What did, did he just got yeeted through the wall? What even happened? Okay, so apparently I activated the switch. No, I wasn't technically trying to yet. Huh. Oh god, how did that miss both of you? Ooh, that's a good crit. Please stop splitting. I mean, again, it, it is kind of decent for, like, XP farming by them doing this, but still. It'd be nice if I could actually, like, do the attack I want to do with the angle I want to do it. And if it wouldn't f keep freaking missing. 
I mean, slime should not have such a high evade rate. Just straight up. There. Loot. Please don't be a trap. Yeah, it's not a trap. <clears throat> I didn't want to open that. Okay, magic rope is a thing, apparently. If I remember it, I think it lets you, like, get out of a dungeon? But I don't know why it gave us a fanfare for that. Oh, it's not limited. It's not giving, like, the, the number of items part of that tab. Okay, that's, like, an infinite use item. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, so what am I, what am I missing? Oh, there's a thing down here. Ah, freaking hell. Yeah, I don't know why Balloon is a status ailment, rather than just, you know, stun or paralyze or anything like that, but it is. It, it, it is what it is. There's something down here. Where does this lead? Oh, there's another path, okay. Ooh, good crit. I'm blocked here, aren't I? No, I'm not blocked here. Never mind. We're good. But now we're blocked. You guys are worse than dead rocks. Oh god, the slimes. Okay, at least it actually hit. There. What do you mean I can't fit through there? Game. Seriously, I, I can easily crawl through here. Game does not have an understanding of spatial reasoning. Wait, I have to. Wait a minute. Yeah, because as everybody knows about the Poké Centers, all you need is a friendly little nap on the internet, and you are good to go. We don't, we don't know that's how Poké Centers work. Okay, how not? I think we are supposed to go this way, but it didn't seem like the game would let us. Unless I missed, like, a switch somewhere. I don't think I did. I feel like I should be able to get through here. Um... I'm not seeing anything else handy on the mini-map. But there's nothing here for us to do. There's an enemy over there. There's no, like, switch or anything over here. Maybe we went down the wrong path? No, because that's the only place we could have gone. Like, this doesn't actually go anywhere helpful, I don't think. Yeah, this led to the treasure room. We don't need that anymore. I don't think there are any, like, hidden switches here we had to get. That's where we came from from the start. Yeah, just nothing down here.
Okay, so what am I missing? Nice, double crit. Uh, heck you. Those slimes are not worth fighting, honestly. I'm missing something very basic. Okay, the wrong enemy took a crit there. Okay, they took him out. Um, yeah, I feel like I should be able to get through here. I don't know why I can't. Apparently I can't, like, exploit pathing. Wait. Okay, not sure how I actually got them back together. Real pet. I are you serious? Okay, I don't know why that was. Did I actually like jute? Oh my god. Why was that so hard to get through? There's literally no reason for that. I mean, that was basically the solution, honestly. Just like, be as rude as you possibly can to your allies. Okay, we can't go up there yet. Build a bridge out of a... Now we head back down. Ooh, little, little peppy theme. This is Dwarf Village. I can hear rumbling from somewhere even deeper underground than we are. Sounds like someone digging. Diggy, diggy hole. What if I want to unbury it? Also, blacksmith. We cannot do blacksmith. Hey, freaking nabbit. Uh, we're still at full health, so don't really no point in going to the inn yet. Okay, all the shops. I will take all the shops. Uh, what can, what can we get? So that's not for anybody we can currently. Okay, so that would be an upgrade for me. Um, ooh, spiky suit. Our Vambrace. Uh, okay, now we're starting to get into possible money concerns. Okay, let's get myself improved. Do the spiky vest. Get myself the headgear. Uh, I think when I sell my old equipment, I can get enough of the other thing for the two of us. So, equipment. Bandana to headgear. That's good defense. Chain vest into spike. Okay, I like how the headgear is actually more of a defense increase than anything else. Welcome. Oh, not that. Anything else? Right, so equipment. So nobody needs overalls. Nobody needs Kung Fu suit. Nobody needs a chain vest. And nobody needs a bandana. There we go. Then we'll get two of these power van braces. Anything else? Oh, nope. Anything else? Come again. Also, this shopkeeper is breaking the rules. He's not dancing. He must pay for his transgression against reality. Uh, how do I? There. 
then we'll sell the yellow pads. Welcome. We'll be done with the shop for now. There you go. Coming now we got some decent money left over. Oh yeah, we can technically get a sneak peek at the uh, the thing here. Maybe he's just in training. They haven't taught him how to do the dancing part yet. It's his first day in the job. Be, be gentle. Oh ho! Welcome to Dwarf Village. Have you visited our sideshow in the cave next door? I think you'll find lots of oddities in this place. Strange oddities, if you will. Although literally nobody here gets that joke. Showtime. Step right up. That's it. This is Dwarf Village's world famous sideshow exhibit. Me? The Dwarf Elder? I'm merely an entertainer. Want to watch the show? Entry is 50 GP. Mmm, seems a bit steep, but sure. Are they supposed to actually like do something? Or did, did they just like dye their beard? That's what the first two are, technically. This poor child has a 50,000 GP debt to pay off before they can go free. How do they get that much in debt is my first question. They're working here to pay it back little by little. If you have any heart at all, please help. Even a small contribution of 100 GP would be appreciated. I... Judging you as I do this. <laughs> what? Why did you embiggen? Uh, elder, elder, er, elder trainer, I have some questions. I knew it. Time for vengeance. How long have you been standing there? Long enough. Please forgive us. This child really is a young sprite. That wasn't a lie. They lived in Sprite Village, but they were washed down into the cave with the floodwaters. So I was just helping them to earn money to get home. Besides, this scam was their idea in the first place. Also, I guess they did, they did make them a, a non-binary gender. I kind of like that, actually. Pretty good con, huh? Hey, apologize. Fine. I shouldn't have. Happy now? You didn't actually apologize. I am ashamed to have taken part in this ruse. Here's your money back. Yay, we got a refund. I apologize. Okay, let me just let me just root through all your stuff. Some, some lovely boxes here. I wish I could break them. I wish I was Link.
And I gotta remember what else I had to do at this point. Can I get here? No, not yet. Okay, I thought he was supposed to... I thought he was supposed to, like, the Elder was supposed to talk to me about having the sprite come with me instead. I thought that was part of the bit. I I didn't mean any... Hmm. I I didn't... Apparently not. Maybe we need to leave, like, the town entirely? What do? Okay, maybe I talk to the random dwarves again. Maybe one of them has an idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I, I guess this also goes to show just how much of the game I don't really remember how to get through, even if it's really hard. Okay, we already, already talked to you about that. Oh, no. Okay, so that's not it. can't get in here yet. I don't think we're supposed to spend like a night here or anything. One night is yeah, because the thing is, I don't know if they actually changed anything from the original game to this one, which I don't think they did. I remember the remake being like story-wise and progression-wise being very, uh, f or I have the term in my head, but I can't think what it is. Faithful to the original game. And we did have a cutscene last time we did the instay, so maybe there's something here. Maybe not. Okay, there's not. So I guess we're just done here? Okay, there's no, like, a uh, quest... Thing here, is there? Open level. I'm talking about, uh, I guess you can go for like different targets. It doesn't really do too much for you to do like the same thing together. It shows all the weapons. Guy, okay. Put them paid for Gaia's navel. Which we currently are in. I guess she's leveling up soon. Characters. That is a big ass bag. I kind of feel like there might actually be like a person inside of it. Elder. Who are you? Oh, here's like all like the quote unquote name characters. Weapons. Monsters. It's too bad I can't get any like like text information on these guys. Yeah, I'm actually not fully sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Huh. Yeah, because we needed to talk to the blacksmith. Because we needed the axe. That much I do specifically remember. And I thought that was how he did that. Now the question is, can we actually... Can we actually get out? Do, do the piercing. Why would we'll just use you?
I feel like I'm missing something very vital. Oh well, the balloon status actually stays. That's unfortunate. Hey, level up. Yeah, the lack of uh, sprite acquisition is concerning me. A quick save? Yeah, I, I feel like we're missing something. We're just gonna head back in. What am I being blocked by? Welcome on in, Skyler. How you doing tonight? Yeah, I'm currently being confused as to why I'm not getting story progression like I thought I should be able to at this point. I, I know there have been like a lot of reviews I saw on Steam recently about like how the, the remake is quote-unquote garbage stuff like that. I really don't feel like the remake itself is garbage. I, I kind of feel like it's just some of the, the base mechanics of, of Secret of Mana just don't really... They haven't aged well in the modern era is I think my issue with it. Like having like the the, the turn-based attacking in a real-time action format, it, it just it just the pace feels bad. And for some reason, we can't just like walk right through here like we should be able to. In order to make this work, I have to actually be as prim, who then has to do like a very specific attack motion to even get up through that pathway. Even that's not fully guaranteed. Yeah, because even she gets stuck. But then a good, like, forward thrust. Oh, and, and then... Uh. Okay, she is actually doing, like, a little grapple. I didn't know she could do that. Has she always been able to do that? Yeah, you think remake should update systems, but understand the feel of nostalgia? I mean, it's, it's one of those things of, like... The only way they could have updated the mechanics to make them actually feel good kind of does go against what it would be for the original game. I can kind of understand that, but... Yeah, th this is one of those games I, I just feel... Like, the mechanic itself... Okay, I was wondering maybe there's another case of, like, weird hitbox collision things, but... Yeah, maybe I have to go back to, like, the front of the place. I, I could have sworn, once we get through the entire sequence of, like, finding out everything's a ruse and we get our money back, whatever, I thought that was when the Elder, like, told the Sprite to join us instead. I remember that being the sequence of events, but that's just not happening. Oh! We can just go through here. Okay, good to know. Yeah, because otherwise we're trying to get to the Blacksmith, but we just don't have the ability to. I'm actually tempted to look up a guide to see if, if I'm doing something wrong. Like I said, I could have sworn we're supposed to get the be able to get the sprite now. We, we tried going to the the haunted forest, and then we had the story a bit about uh, like we needed an axe to be able to proceed to a certain area. And so Prim was like, "Okay, fine, we'll go to the Naya's or Gaia's na navel, and then we're here, but nothing's happening." So I am quite confused. There's no other entrances or anything. I guess we just go. Yeah, take that.
Yeah, I'm also not sure if that's... I assume that this remake has been out for like years and years and years, stuff like that. How have they not fixed that particular bug? And how does that only do 10 damage? Okay, maybe the, the throw thing is a factor of the, uh, the punching weapon. Maybe that's what that is. I'm pretty sure the store doesn't have any, like, grapple motions like that. Yeah. Oh, no, this is the way we want to go. Maybe there's like an alternate path we could have gone in the Haunted Forest that was still viable. That's literally the only other thing I can think of. Because part of the other thing as well is I know there's also a boss that you fight in the entrance to the little uh, Dwarven Village there. I could have sworn we only... Okay, I thought that was like a doorway for a second. Yeah, I could have sworn we could only... That we, when we did that fight, we did it as just ourselves. Like we didn't actually have a uh, firm with us. I keep gonna have a run button. Thank you. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, she's still taking damage, but not as much as she was. Ooh, that's a good crit. Money. Hey, she's actually dodging stuff now. Nice. She's improving. you're still alive. That's not allowed. All right, I need to actually use a sword to get to the, the dead plants there. And of course, then the fact the enemies just respawn if you move, like, just outside enough doesn't really help either. Hey, level up. Okay, so the path to the left we cannot do without the axe. And that was what made Firm uh, actually be okay with going to the dwarf, dwarf place to begin with. What if we try to go this way? Okay, another thing here. On the eyeball creature. And yeah, literally nowhere else we can go. Oh! Apparently we made a path of some kind. Uh, we can't go do anything that way. Nice crit. Friggin' trapped. The friggin' trap is friggin' crap. Okay, I can't hit you. Good to know. So we're still restricted because we don't have the axe. So what path did we just open then? Was for anything here? I thought it would have been for like some path here, but I guess not. Huh. Yeah, I am quite confused, which is kind of my normal state of mind whenever I play Secret of Mana. I'm never really fully sure, like, if I'm going the right direction or what I'm supposed to be doing or, like, anything, really. Yeah, heck all y'all. At least with Prim being off-screen, it means she's not getting targeted by anything. But she's not getting hit. Yeah, 
Playing old games is one part. Oh, I remember this. And then nine parts. What the hell is going on? Yeah, pretty much. And the thing is, this is one of the parts I was I was sure I'd actually remember. That's the funny thing. What's over here? Oh, another cannon. I don't think the cannon's really helpful right now. Yeah, there's no reason to go back to the water temple. There's no reason to go back to Pandora because we haven't actually done anything yet. Oh, actually, maybe maybe to correct you on that one. So, playing old games is one part. Oh, I remember this. Nine parts. What the hell is this? And then five parts of. I thought I remember this. Is that that's the main thing I'm going through right now. There's nothing to like the east side of that map, which we're done. Is there anything cool over this way? Oh no, this is where we came from. I'm gonna say no on that. Also, I think one improvement that this game does actually do is that when you run, you actually can just run forever in this one, where I think in the original, you can just run until the percentage bar hits zero. No way. What did, what did you dodge? There was literally nothing attacking us. I can't even th swing my sword. What? What did you dodge? One night. Okay, so we, we do have ads starting in a few minutes. I, th I think I'll just take the ad break a little bit early. I'll go ahead and run a few minutes of ads. I'll do a quick little bio break. Oh, I meant to save. Can I, can I save manually? From you. One night is ten deep. There we go. I can save manually. Okay. All okay, right. So save here. I'll do a quick uh, few minute ads so I can get the, those out of the way for the rest of the stream. Take a little bio break. I might even look up a guide to figure out what the hell I'm missing because I am I am missing something. I have no idea what it is. But yeah. We will BRB momentarily, and we'll be back in a few minutes after uh, some ads and some bio breaks. So BRB.
All right, and we've returned. It'd be funny if the shop people sped up the longest you stared at him. That would actually have been, have been an amazing Easter egg. I would totally would have approved of that. Uh, let me drop the BRB. Wait, Demi? What, 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 what cool thing did Demi get? The in inquiring minds want to know. Including why my bike stand is now being wonky. Okay. Okay, I, my mic was set up perfectly earlier. Now it's just not. There we go. That, that should be a good backup thing. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, so, I did look up a couple guides while doing, doing my bio break, and... Apparently, I, I was trying to do the right thing, but the game is just not letting me because I guess there are hitbox issues. So, like that, that one path where we can only, like, sneak behind or sneak in a little thing by doing, like, the attack dash with the uh, Princessus. Yeah, I think we might need to do that to get into the door to the blacksmith. Which is supposed to be available just to waltz in at any time you like, but we just can't for whatever reason. So we're gonna head back there again and try to find some way to finagle ourselves into there. <clears throat> okay. Please get out of there. There. Boxes, I swear. Okay, so we can still go through here like normal. Alright, so here is where we actually need to be prim. Because for some reason, only she can fit through there when doing her little obsessive punch attack thing. That's a good crit. What does your thing look like? Out of curiosity. Okay, little combo attack. There we go. No, I hate the fact that I need to do what feel like speedrun maneuvers just to get to the basic aspects of the game. So yeah, this door right here. We're supposed to be able to just... Yeah. I need to w move in like 15 specific directions to get inside there. That is... Oh my god. By all means. Little while, he says. Whoa. Okay, kind of looks like an Epe. Something's coming. Here's the boss fight. Okay. Not too early. Tropicalo. Oh god. Oh yeah, I forgot the other things to be targeted too. Get him! Oh come on! And of course, Prim's doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, hey, stick is uh, stuck in the second hit. Yeah, exploderize little plant things. Actually, can I change her? Maybe we need to change, to change her uh, little. Yeah. So, back to sa uh, same target. Maybe now she'll try to attack Tropicalo as well. Or maybe not. Wishful thinking. 
We're doing 35 base. Okay. That was actually good damage right there. Also, we took literally no damage during that fight. We did it. Actually, no, we did take some damage. Never mind. Thank the tentacles you very us. much. I could have handled those guys myself, you know. You didn't even come out and try. Hush. Sorry about that. The shock from getting washed away affected this child's memories. They can't remember anything. They're a good child. Just with a few attitude problems and a loud mouth. Yeah, I don't think that's well, the definition of a good child. It'll all work out eventually. Why rush it? Tropicalo was sealed away in the palace. Since it got out, that must mean there's a way in. If you harness the power of the mana seed, you might even get your memories back, little one. What? What makes you think that would even happen? What did you say so earlier? I'll go there right now. You can't go alone. The palace was buried long ago. Who knows how many monsters are infesting that place now? You, you managed to defeat Tropicalo. Would you be so kind as to accompany this sprite to the palace? You, you managed to defeat Tropicalo. Would you be so kind as to accompany this sprite to the palace? You literally already said that exact line. Sure. I think you could technically just keep saying no, but it'll just like keep trying. But yeah. To listen to everything he says. There's no way she's listening to that last last bit. Okie dokie. Just don't get in my way, okay? Bro. Bro? Uh, I have a name. Yeah, I'll tell you what. How about you give me a name? That's the thing you're all around. What will you call this little sprite? Okay, so since th they were referred to multiple times as a sideshow, I think it's only reasonable that we call them... Actually, how many characters do we can we put in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, eight characters. So I, I can't do the full name, but no, since they're a sideshow, let us dub them Sideshow Bob. Bob, join the party. Bob. Is she level, or are they level one? Okay, there we go. Uh, where's stats? There's stats. Oh my God, they're level one. Well, they're gonna take a while to level up. Uh, wait, how do we get out? Um. Uh, how do we leave? Good luck. You can go straight to the palace using that hole over there. But Which hole? Careful. That witch from the north, LNA, sealed the palace off with a cave of magma. First, you have to go to LNA's castle to ask her to dissolve her seal. You know, she wasn't always like this. LNA used to be a good witch. Go north to her castle in Haunted Forest and ask her to open the seal. Here is the set of bow and arrows we found when the little oh. one washed up. Take them. Even more equipment. Obtain Chobin's bow. That reminds me. Watts the blacksmith was looking for you. You should stop by his workshop. I, I do kind of like how you actually uh, each character starts with their own weapon, but you then you still get other ones like relatively soon after they join as well. But yeah, so actually, but I'm gonna give uh, Bob the axe. Actually, can I? Okay, for some reason I can't make this. Okay, oh there we go. Yeah, I don't know what's with the hitboxes. Well, I tried making that axe, but it didn't turn out how I thought it would. I wonder why. Hmm? What's happened to that boomerang? 
Wait! Try holding this axe! Aha! I can reforge these weapons, but the mana power won't activate unless you hold them. But I'm special. special. It may be compact, but you can smash a boulder with it. Wanna buy it? Take it with you for 100 GP. Not sure, we got plenty of money. There are four mana weapons out there. Bring them here, and I can reforge them using any orbs you find. Also, I think we got exactly 100 gold from Tropicolo, because we're at like 722 before, I think. Now we're at 822. Let me show you my special shortcut so you can come here directly. Not have to go through the, the wall of glitchiness? Or the door of glitchiness? There's a lot of awkward moving to get there. Okay, so we can do the spear. Okay, the spear is the only thing we can do right now. Okay, so now that we have the axe, let's give that to you. So you have the boomerang normally. Let's have you have the axe instead. And then, so where does this exactly go? Oh, this goes up to here. Okay. Okay, I like that shortcut. Oh, right, I was gonna get better equipment. Or at least get equipment for Bob to begin with. We can't do anything else with our weapons. We should have more than enough money to get uh, Bob the equipment that they need. Okay, so... Yeah, you definitely need a power of Ambrace. You can also wear the spiky suit! Huh. Did not see that coming. You can also uh, get a minor robe, but why? When you get the spiky suit. It, maybe this gives more evasion? I don't know. The so, rabbit cap for you. If you can equip the spiky suit, I'll give you the freaking spiky suit. And then a power of Ambrace. Anything else? Come again. Then for you. Quick. So you get the Rabbi Cap, which is a good bit of everything. You get a power of Ambrace, which is a good bit of everything. And Minor Robe becomes Spiky Suit. Yeah, I, I feel like she shouldn't be able to wear the Spiky Suit, or they shouldn't be able to wear the Spiky Suit. Yeah, I'm still getting stuck in my, like, my childhood impression of what the gender of the was supposed to be. And unfortunately, memories of, uh, things I've, or memories from, like, decades ago are very hard to unlearn. Okay, so let's see how long it takes to go through the store as, as the, as Bob. Okay, currently it's just not happening. I, I swear... Bob is actually bigger than myself. Which seems weird. Come on. Come on, you made it earlier. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Actually, I think it was pressing the run button that did it. We're all done there. Yeah, now we will do fight at least a few of these guys. So we can get her some levels. Or at least try to. I don't know how successful it's gonna be, but we can try. Grab this. Yay, candy. I'm kind of surprised she hasn't gained any levels yet. There it is.
There it goes. It is at least nice to know that the enemies do have a specific animation when they actually kick the bucket, so you can use that as a reference at least. There we go. So hopefully the defense is at least enough to have uh, them survive in the uh, haunted forest. Let's go level up. Okay, so his level 2 ability can be anything actually like super useful. Okay, looks cool. But doesn't have the biggest range. Oh my god, why is pathing so hard in this game? even build my charge. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage, actually. Especially with that crit. Get him. I, again, though, I wish it didn't take that long for it to charge up, though, because I feel like I could be doing just as much, if not more, damage by just waiting for basic attacks. That's the issue. How did that miss? <clears throat> ah, yeah. I probably don't need to reactivate that other platform that I did last when I was here last time. I would get kind of old kind of fast. Okay, good. Take that. Yeah, I'm not amused by the fact that I'm basically taking on all these enemies on my own. Like, guys don't even know, like, what, how, when to even fight. Okay, so we can't connect there, so we need the whip for that. Hope we can go this way. Back. Actually, I do wonder. Is there anything over here? I can literally see in the minimap. Wait. Okay, I thought the axe took care of the mushrooms. Apparently not. Huh. Good to know. And uh, Bob's HP is uh, very nice. Oh, heck you. Heck you as well. Okay, I, I love that little toss maneuver that uh, Prim does with the melee, with the, the punchy weapon. It's actually kind of perfect. No 
But yeah, it's kind of like we're discussing really about like the, uh, them making like some kind of upgrades to a game when they remaster it. Yeah, at least updating the enemy AI or ally AI and pathing stuff like that. What was that healing about? What the actual hell? Okay, what is doing all that curing? If I can make them stop it. That is literally broken if they can do like that much that much healing for free. Okay, at least now they're out of a uh, curing range. Why are they still healing? You know, with, with, yeah, okay. Oh my god, please. Dude, I just got you out of there. Don't get back in. Wait, we can't even go that way. Hold on, what? Oh, this is the way we go, okay. Oh, you always doing the curing? Was it you? Oh no, Bob's a Moogle. I can chonky Moogle too. There we go. Prim. The, the, the pad in this, in this game is literally the worst. Although it is technically using the speedruns to do things like super fast and super like buggy in a way. It's actually kind of using for that purpose. Yeah, cause apparently something about like when when an ally gets off screen and they are unable to like follow properly, they can actually kind of go out of bounds for like a, a split moment in time, and you can utilize that to get across passageways that you're not supposed to be able to get across. Also, rip that treasure chest. Where'd the Chobin come from? Hey, for level up, hell yeah. All the levels. Oh god. Polter chair. It's called a polter chair. Really? There we go. Are you gonna- okay, please die. Thank you. Yeah, Bob's getting a little hurt, but... We can make it work. Yeah, take that crit. Oh, they're actually summoning the Chobins. Okay, I didn't know they could do that. Okay, so grab this. Ooh, chocolate. Um. Okay, the bull pass open up pretty freely then. Yeah, that's my biggest thing, is that if you attack at the wrong time, your attack basically just gets, like, completely ignored. Because of the way that the, the hit stacking works. There is something down here. I don't know if I wanted to go up first or not, though. Hello! Ellipses. This guy's already kind of recovered. Just like the people in Pandora. You can bet the witch is behind this whole thing. Home. Want. Go. Home. Want. Witch. Stand there. All three on the platform. It makes 
Bishop Ridge. Yay, assistance. Meow. I got caught. Brrr. Need anything now? Special deal for busy travelers. Do you have anything actually new? That doesn't look like it. Plus, you're still like double charging for everything, so hell no to that. Okay, we have five candies currently. I think we're fine. We will do a quick save. Just because you never know what's going to happen. There we go. Yeah, we may not be fully healed, but we can make that work still. Ow. How rude. Ooh, good crit. Hearing aloud. There we go. Uh, that's a lot of doors. Let's go left first. Okay, just bats. Okay. I'll go splat. No, heck, you guys, they're just gonna respawn anyway. Look, okay, this kind of looks like a puzzle room. Or, you know, find a single switch and get to the room that way kind of room. Chairs. Dastardly chairs. Okay, this track is kind of a jam. What noisy little children. But don't worry. You'll get what's coming to you. That, that was like the, the most passive sounding threat I've ever heard in my life. I get a feeling I should probably Give me the pleasure of sending you to my dear Thanatos. No, I'm good. Oh, his head is freaking huge. Such a peculiar young man. For some reason, my magic didn't work properly on him. I mean, she's supposed to be a witch, so... But Thanatos wanted him, so I sent him directly to the ruins in Pandora. Thanatos? Silly child! Thanatos is a mystic knight of the Vandal Empire who will crush your kingdom from within. Did you really be giving us that information? <laughs> Now that most of the people of the land have lost their souls, Thanatos will be unstoppable. All the mighty Thanatos has to do is storm the castle by attacking from the southern ruins. Now then, my little spiky tiger looks hungry. And you're on the menu! Oh heck. Okay, doing semaphore. There you go. Where are you? Oh, hi. Oh, you big. Yeah, I can big. What are you doing up there? I can't hit you from there. Fire bouquet. Oh, I'm sorry. What? That was only a lot of damage. Um, I have a sick. Okay, now I can use it. That was heckin' rude. Oh god. Well, 
Okay, she's unconscious, not dead. That is a very important distinction. Actually, yeah, the level 2 ability I used with my sword didn't do any more damage to him than my regular slash did. Prim is ablaze. Will you stop setting her on fire? That's rude. Hey, we did it. Love ups for everybody. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. I love how we got the full health restoration, even though everybody leveled up, so they already got full healing from that. Okay, so now we can upgrade the boomerang, which I don't really plan to be using. Hello? No! Please, forgive me! Give me one good reason. I didn't mean for this to happen. Oh? The magical herbs that grew in my forest withered. I had no choice. I exchanged the souls of the villagers for herbs from Thanatos to keep my powers. I feel like that's a really massive trade imbalance of value there. Uh, lesson learned. I'm resigned to be a simple old lady and live a normal life from now on. If you're looking for that young man who was here earlier, he's already left for the ruins to the south of Pendle. I mean, he hasn't left. He was sent there by you. You can take what's in that treasure chest over there. Oh? I don't need it anymore. The orb in the underground palace. Hmm. You need to use ice magic to activate it. Okay. I'm back to my old magicless self, so I can't help you. You can write your powers awfully quickly. Oh, two chests. Hell yeah. First one is Leather Whip. Heck yeah. Add money. Okay, so we're going to give the whip to Prim. So that way we have all of the, uh, the quote unquote movement abilities on every character at once. I don't think anything else really does anything super special. Yeah, Leather Whip for you. I'm assuming there's still some loot we can find in this area. Although I'm kind of missing out on the chance to really get more, like, enemy kills. Nothing even in here. Yeah, there's still the entire other path we could check, too. Okay, didn't mean to shut that, but okay. Oh, there's just nothing. All right. I knew it. Dialogue is alive. Can you hear me? Come to the water palace immediately. It's Luca. Something must have happened. To. I'm worried about Dialog, but I need your help to save him. I'll go with you, but in return, you have to help me rescue Dialog afterward. Don't worry, I'm coming along. We'll get this job done in no time. I really just now noticed that Prim has elf ears. This is literally the first time in my entire knowledge of this game noticing that. Like, even like when I was a kid. I didn't mean to go back in there. We have to head back to the water palace. Which we should have quick access to now that we have the whip. Okay, so there's still enemies in here. That's good to know. Whip it good. Bum, 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 bum. Mm, 
moitered. There we go. And no, just because you're here, and I can murder you easily. Oh, so not murdered yet, okay. There you go, now I'm murdered. Hey, uh. but I'm guessing now is when we start to learn actual magic spells then. You also told me to come back here to Undine, or something. The there we go. Of water, lives in a cave behind a waterfall east of this palace. Oh, that's what that was. Okay. Her barrier protecting the palace has disappeared, and I fear the worst. She could be in grave danger. You must find her. No worries. I'll find and protect Shiva. Oh, you're new. If fish. If fish, then stab. Fish. Those things are kind of tanky. Oh god, more fish. Oh, heck you. Oh, that, that's a lot of damage, actually. I don't like that. Okay, at least the status effect didn't last long on me. Hello? Hello? What? Am I supposed to be attacking it? Pole. Oh, hi. Oh, God. Oh, God. Four. Ah. Oh, I'm actually taking damage, too. Oh, how heckin' dare. You are not allowed to cure. Oh, God. Oh, come on. I mean, maybe this fight is meant to teach you the benefit of having, like, the long-range weapons, I guess. You heal, you heal way too much from that spell. Hopefully they have a limited amount of it. Oh, we won. Okay. Obtain Glove Zorb. Okay, that was random. We found the Mer Lady. I am Undine, the water elemental. In return for your kindness, you may use my power. Elementals may manifest as two types of spells to use as you will. You may call upon my recovery. Okay. And you may use my battle magic. Also okay. What about me? You, you don't get nothing. Are the wielder of the man of sword. Magic will never be yours to master. Which honestly seems kinda kinda counterintuitive. You get the monosword, which is basically just magic incarnate, 
but you can't use magic. For to put your own magic against that of your sword could yield disastrous results. However, you may channel the magic of others through your mana weapon. For instance, she can cast Ice Saber on your weapon, turning your enemies into snowmen. Yay, snowmen. In addition, I leave this mana weapon to you. With it, you may attack enemies both above and below you. Okay, we already have a bow and arrow and a, and a boomerang. What else are we gonna get for range? Call upon me at any time. Pole dart? Okay, is that just like just regular darts, basically? All right, I'll be a master mage in no time. Okay, so what spells do you have available? Um. So ice saber, two MP. Cover status and HP. Okay. Oh, I have a quick options. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then what about for you? You have just free straight up. How is acid rain linked to water? Oh, I guess water. I guess never mind. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, absorbs enemy HP. Interesting. And so I, I think they're. Their proficiency with a given element increases based on how often they actually use the spell, so I do kind of want to be using the MP as much as I can. Actually, in that case, uh... So, I think I would do... For the sake of trying to build up, because I, I actually don't know what necessarily increases, or like what determines how much XP you get, I'm just going to assume just number of uses. So we'll set this for you. And then for you, we'll set Cure. So now I'm guessing if I press either of these one in the open field area, I'll just cast those spells automatically. Okay, I like the being able to have at least a, a single quick uh, spell option for each character. That's at least cool. Okay, and it does get, let, let me target as well. That is in fact cool. Oh, heck. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage to me. Oh, I can target all of them! Oh, that's cool, actually. Oh my god, that healing. That's like level zero, too. Good lord. That is actually really good. Get them all again, please. Freaking hell. Look, okay, these guys are way too strong. Okay, now you're dead. Do a quick heal on everybody with, uh, with Prim. I don't know if she still gets experience, so there's no, like, net benefit from the cast, but we're gonna do, do another one with her anyway. Actually, I can probably check their uh, developmental status. Uh, you need to go to, I think, there's like a magic menu, yeah, magic level, so 45 for you. Okay, so yeah, each use gives X number of, uh, of bonus. We could have Prim do one more cast and use up the MP for this. Yeah, you could easily just kind of like be right outside the limits of a, a town and just kind of farm the, uh, the spell at that point. Okay, good damage even on, even on all targets. Yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves a heal. Wait a minute, this is a different spot than I thought it was. Oh, it's Nico's place again, okay. Welcome to Neko's. 
costume. Maybe. Okay, I, okay, that's a nice little Easter egg right there. So you see that little portrait on the table right there of like the other kind of bunny looking character? That is Nico from Legend of Mana, who is, I, I don't think he ever becomes an actual merchant, but he does actually become a party member. I like that as an Easter egg, heck yeah. Now uh, what do you got? Well, first of all, how much does it cost to stay here? Uh, actually, we have a lot of money, sure. I'm actually kind of okay with that. I'm far more okay than I should be. Oh, wow. cutscene. That Watts is the best blacksmith I've ever seen. He's made my rusty sword shine like it's brand new. With a sword like this at my side, everyone can tell that I'm a knight who means business. Uh, yeah, don't get ahead of yourself. I, I, no, no. I figures. What's your problem? So immature. A rust-free sword doesn't make you a knight. You'll never be a warrior like Dyla without training. That's why I'm practicing. That wasn't practice. That was posing. You just wanted to look cool holding that sword. I mean, to be fair, so would I. N no, I didn't. The truth hurts. Fine. No more sword practice today. the game sure okay so what do you have to offer for items I'm probably not gonna buy anything because I know you like overpriced on everything Shop. Uh, yeah you still double charge everything you only have like basic equipment too so yeah I ain't buying from you I probably will try to buy some more candy and chocolate from like maybe a different shop but definitely not from Nico I was wondering to say if it was like a 25% like expenditure increase or even like 40 to 50, maybe then I'd be willing to spend the money still, but just as it is now. Okay, where even are we? That's just assigned to Nico's. I forgot where we needed to go. Welcome on in, Kako. How are you doing tonight? So, so as I've mentioned a, a couple times during the stream, the, my hot take on this game is that the gameplay actually kind of sucks. Because, I mean, like, like, if you get, like, a single good hit, one hit takes down an enemy, it's perfectly fine. You can only stack, like, one additional hit on an enemy at the time. So if, like, all three characters attack a single enemy at once, only two of their hits are going to actually count. And especially, if you want to use, like, the, the charge abilities, you have to spend so much time waiting for them to actually charge up. And it takes so long for you to actually, like, like build up in the first place. And it doesn't even do that much more damage. In my opinion, this is a game where they, they took, like, a real-time action game and took turn-based uh, turn uh, turn uh, combat, put them together, and used the wrong, the worst parts of each one. That, that's kind of my feeling on how the, the gameplay for this game is. Um, I guess we could upgrade our some of the, the weapons we have. We did get a couple orbs. And yeah, I, I kind of another thing, another issue I personally had with this game when I was a kid is that I was always getting constantly lost in this game. I had no idea where to go or what to do. That, that, that might be one of those things that, like, especially, if you look, like, yeah, when you're a kid, you, you have so little other things you have to worry about. You just kind of focus on, like, the simple stuff. Yeah, back, so back when I played this game, Game After Goose was not a thing. I mean, hell, my household having internet was not a thing. I mean, by, by the time I finally got access to the internet, I was, like, a decent ways into the PlayStation era. So, yeah, I, I did not have that benefit. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I wanted to go in here. But, yeah, another thing I'm not a big fan of is that when you cast a spell on an enemy, or on, even not, well, cast a spell on anybody, it basically just freezes them in time, which is really bad if you're trying to cast a spell on yourself, because then you can't do any attacks. Plus, like I said, you only stack up so many attacks on an enemy during like any status, and if you if you cast a spell on an enemy, none no basic attacks will actually hit us, or no basic attacks will hit at all, which makes uh, freezing them even like worse of an option. Okay, so we had one for the boomerang, and we had one for the knuckle. 
Oh, we can do the... Wait, no. Oh, we can't forge. I, I keep seeing the price available, so I think we can enchant it, but then, no, uh, we, we don't have the old four yet. Yeah, th this is how I looked back when I was a kid. I, I was I was very beep boopy. Is that new? I'm really... Oh, right, this is the thing we need to activate with the, the ice magic. There it goes. Yay for accidentally going to the right place. Yeah, in later games, def uh, I I've only played one of the later Mana games, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, back when I was a wee little 8 bit bitty kitty. An itty little itty bitty 8 bitty kitty committee. But yeah, at least in Legend of Mana, it, it did feel a lot better to do like all the special moves like that because you can just activate them with like little, uh, basically quick keys. You didn't have to spend like a minute charging up a, a, a mid-level ability or anything like that. Because I, I love playing Legend of Mana, even though I got. It's hard for me to really get like fully into Legend of Mana because everything is just kind of. It's almost roguelike in a way because like every game is gonna be different if you do everything just slightly differently. Where did you come from? You were not here originally, and you just like phased through the low god. Okay, speed down is not the worst thing I could have gotten from that. But yeah, especially like trying to get the trying to get a hand of crafting in Legend of Mana was basically impossible because it was just su such a convoluted process, and the game didn't really tell you like anything of how it actually works. It, it was still definitely a fun game to play, though. How dare you dodge my attack? How dare you dodge my attack? And yeah, so yeah, charging attack right here, just having to wait for the thing to charge up, and moving at like half to even like a third speed the entire time. How did all of those miss? Okay, you know what? Just freeze the thing. Okay, I think cat spell casting, what do you want to do on that thing? Um... I don't want to do it on you quite again yet. Okay, so leveling up also restores your MP. That is good to know. Actually, you know what? Ice is probably better on the, the slime then, too. I don't think uh, any enemies can dodge spells. Oh, there's one switch. Uh, yeah, get all the green drops, please. Okay, it takes care of both. Yeah, especially when I'm spending, like, a... Okay, I can hit the cure button. Yeah, especially when when each spell takes out a good chunk of your MP, I'm always very paranoid about, like, trying to save, for, for, uh, save as much as I can. I don't waste it. Well, that was easy. Okay, so they're summoning more of the guys themselves. That's what's going on. There we go. Just for the sake of trying to get her some more levels with Undyne. Oh, I can give this to Oh, I can give it to everybody. Nice. I didn't really know that was a thing. Okay, so here is one of the bullcrap things about this game mechanic. Like, if you, I guess if you turn the enemy into a snowman, you can't do any further damage. Which I do not agree with in the slightest. Uh. No, it, it'll still take out the slime, so we'll do it this way. Oh, it didn't take out the slime. Please stop dodging. There. Ma. 
Hobgoblin? There we go. Wait. Ma Goblin. Is that literally birthing of the goblins as we're fighting it? I, I, I can't think of any other interpretation for that particular thing. Oh no, the Ma is the one that gets spawned afterward, I guess. So I guess it's not the one. What do you mean, Defender? Okay, I love how he gets to fend up right at the, right at the second he dies. But yeah, like I said, my, my hot take about this game is the fact that the gameplay actually kind of sucks. Okay, so it actually does get divided more as there are more targets. Good to know. There we go. Come on. Wait, you were just moving. You weren't attacking. How did you do that much damage? God damn it. At least they're not curing, but still. What the, the what? I can't even bring you back. God damn it. Uh, this is annoying. Okay, so now we, we actually kind of have to use rope until we get back and get our way back to full strength. All oh, right, this is the uh, over here. Well, since we're here, let's just have Prim start leveling up her mage abilities. I think Prim should be close to leveling up her Undyne soon. Yeah, get everybody alive again. I mean, it worked on us technically. Uh, no comment. That's not good enough. Tell me. Mm, no one else fell for our views except for you guys. Wow. Good. I don't want to travel around with a liar who cheated a bunch of innocent people out of their gold. Calling me a liar is a little harsh. I apologized already, remember? Also, you can make an argument that two people is a bunch of people. Let's actually get some uh, healing items as well. We don't have to keep going back up here every time somebody dies. Welcome. Okay, max out on candy. Okay, at least I can go through this quickly. Uh, I don't think we really need these, but we'll get a few of these. Okay, you're not selling any chocolate yet, which I'm actually mostly okay with. Yeah, we'll get like Anything six of these. Come again. Now that somebody dies, it's not going to be as big a deal. Uh, I need to head down here. But it's kind of too bad the minimap doesn't update to show that we can actually go from here now. Through. 
Actually, how far? How close is uh, Bob delivering up at this point? Eh, kind of. So 261. Okay, she's close enough to leveling. I'll start just using her for spells. Oh, I meant to get the party cured. Oh well. I target all enemies again. There we go. Take that. Whip to the face. Uh, what are you at for uh, experience right now? Oh, you're getting pretty close too. Uh, status doesn't really do much right now, so yeah, we'll just do more healing. Magic level up. There we go. Freeze on everybody. Ooh, that damage. There we go. I'm guessing they're probably weak to the full damage then. Okay. Single target on the chest knight. I want to make sure they're actually, like, properly defeated. Except apparently they're not. Okay. On all of them, I guess? What do you mean, miss? There we go. That's more like it. Yay, we survived this time. How did you spawn? That thing should not have had a chance to even take a single turn. Sprite is murdering the, the gnome with an axe. Oh, hi. Oh, you look like you're weak, too. Oh, God. Yeah, you look like you should be weak to uh, the ice. Oh god. Bob, now is not the time. Okay, now is the time. Yeah, Prim, heal yourself real quick. Oh, that damage! Oh, that was actually really good. What do you mean, explode? Oh god! Cure Bob immediately. Oh, that that was close. Okay, freeze this biatch. Got him. Yeah.
Although, I'm kind of curious how nobody leveled up there. I mean, I guess we did just recently, recently level, but still. Gnome time. Yeah, that, that beard is literally half of its entire body. Otherwise, I'll throw you to my vicious bodyguard. <laughs> Please, forgive me. I'll be a oh servant. My God. I'll do anything. Hey, who are you calling your bodyguard? I know when I've met my match. Call on me anytime. I'll be there. Now, close your eyes, boss. Now both you and the missus over there can summon me. Excuse me? Since when were we an item? Wow. Well, that's that. Be seeing ya. Gain the power of Gnome. Come on, we gotta get to the mana seed. Okay, I do like how when you do a quick spell and then back out, it brings you right to the spell list. I like how much simpler that is. Okay, what does the gnome, what can the gnome do? Gain power to petrify. Okay. Raises defense, decreases damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, for the meantime, let's get some more XP going on, since we're going to be pretty much using all this stuff up anyway. And then see what the, what Bob can do. Oh, because I can't actually target anybody. Uh, what can Gnome do from you? Come on, I'm using Rock Slide. Okay, so you can literally only target enemies. That's kind of annoying when trying to, like, buff magic levels, but... Uh, yeah, Prim is already at level 1 on Dine, so... Yeah, we've got to have me focus on Gnome a little bit. Oh, that costs 4 MP, good lord. You know what, speed up, why not? I'm assuming if I, if I spread the magic around, the duration is shorter. I don't actually know that for a fact. Synchronize with the mana seed. Come on. I keep waiting for them to actually say a name, but it doesn't just come up. You okay? Oh my god. Although, honestly, mood. Uh, I, I kind of want to sleep right now, too. Ah, sorry, I drifted off there. Yes, give Gecko all of the pets. Their, their, their cuteness is worthy of all of that. Give me a break. Hey, don't get ants in your pants. While I was asleep, my past came back to me. Okay. I So the question is, how do we get there? I'm also not sure what this does every time we come here. Because you can keep doing this. But I don't know what it actually does. And I wish I knew. <clears throat> Nothing else we can do up here. And now all the enemies are gone, so... I really probably should- yeah, I'll just use, use a magic rope, actually. Get back out to here. Can you hear me? Gemma has not returned from Pandora yet. Something must have happened. I sense evil in the Pandora ruins. Perhaps you can look into it and find out what's keeping Gemma. Luke is right. We need to get to the Pandora ruins on the double. First we heal. Because uh, we kind of need the MP. That's not the end. Actually, was the shop selling any MP recovering items? One night is. I might want to check that out actually. 
More cutscenes. The beds are like five, ten times the size of you. I'm not sure how much you like it. You people have no idea. Palace life is not fun. Uh, you okay? No. Harsh words, sis. You want to crush my dreams that badly? Absolutely. People from the palace only think about their own status. Everything is for the sake of the realm. No one ever stops to think about how the rest of us feel. Who wants to marry into that kind of oppression? I like how she's getting so angry that she's generating her own, like, air force and her hair, hair is blowing back just because of her anger. Everything was about him. What a narcissist. That pampered kid is nothing like Dylux. Dylux's a responsible soldier who wouldn't blame others for his mistakes. The nobility are selfish. Dylux always asked me how my day was. Who brought me flowers? Not like some people. What a loser. Had it a witch's castle would be way different from what she's used to anyway. Yeah, I, I think all of those cutscenes are brand new to this game. I don't, I don't think they exist in the original SNES version. Kind, kind of developed the characters a little bit more. Save the game, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the. Uh, the ruins thing real quick, and then we'll probably try to... We'll try to get that bed finished up, then we'll probably get ready to call it for the night. Uh, so how do I... Okay, so we need to go... through here. Okay, for some reason, just running into the door lets us get in, but just walking doesn't. Okay, so we can do... We can't do the power glove. Of course it's called the power glove. Uh, here, the axe. Make that stronger. Everything is currently forged, I believe. Heck yeah, I was gonna check the shop too to see if there was any, like, new items or any MP recovery items we can get. Welcome. There's magic door, wishes. Doesn't look like it now. Dang. Yeah, we're stuck with the uh, just the MP we currently have. Then I want to go this way. Oh, Nico's gone. So now we gotta find. Now we gotta find another one of those cannons, which I think there was one just like north and east. Maybe we'll get back to Pandora from there. <clears throat> Alright. Welcome, welcome. Pandora it is. Try not to open yourself up to mischief while you're there. Too late. Just pop yourself into the barrel. I feel like the Super Nintendo version also had a thing where it actually shows you flying over the world map before landing here. I kind of missed that, actually. Fairly certain it did anyway. I think we need to head down this way. Pamela? What's the matter? You're acting strange. <sighs> yeah, I missed that. It, it was one of those small little touches that I left for the original game. She, what? She disappeared. What? The ruins are down there. Let's check them out. Okay, yeah, I, I think I see the the reference to the uh, the Ganon statue in this. Then now that I'm actually looking at it, 
Yeah, it does seem a little more familiar. I also didn't realize just how many statues there were here. Holy crap. Yeah, they all just say ellipses. God. Pretty neat, huh? No, it's not neat. You're going to be what? Pamela! Snap out of it! Ah, stop whining! Just leave me alone! Dude! Hey! Pamela! Pamela! What are you guys doing? Get out of my way! Smack. We have to hurry, or Pamela's a goner! Dialect's supposed to be there, too! Run! Oh god, there's actually kind of a lot of things here. How did that not hit you at all? Oh my god. What do you mean? Pop, stop getting poisoned. That's not what I pay you for. Oh god, spells are coming from everywhere now. Oh god, she's actually kind of close to dying. Or they are. Okay, I guess we need to freeze it. Oh, damn. That was a lot of damage. Oh, God. I feel like the trap stress are so much more frequently than they were in the original. Yeah, I knew you were fake the second I saw you. Take care of you. Get him. Yeah. Okay, there is nothing of value here. Yeah, I'm not fighting you guys again. Hey. There we go. Level up. Which actually means I could have done more spells leading up to that. Oh well. Hey, I leveled up. Oh god, not you guys again. Okay, at least that was a good crit. But everything else just sucks. That would actually be really cool to see. I don't know if they are, because I know they only released that game in Europe, and I don't think the game, like, sold very well. So outside of, like, the cult following it's gotten, there's never, not really any, like, quote-unquote financial reason for them to do that. I'm also wondering if there might be some, like, some random, uh... Like, I, I can't think of the right terminology, but, like, some kind of random legal issues, maybe why they can't remake it. Actually, I'm actually not sure who would technically own the rights to that game would probably be the biggest question. It's not it wouldn't necessarily just be Nintendo that like owns all the rights of the game stuff like that. It might just be like a company that's like now defunct, so nobody has like the proper like rights to use it. Why am I still tiny? Can, can I can I not be tiny? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't really know how, like, the publisher versus developer, like, uh, relationship worked back then compared to nowadays. That's, like, the one thing I still kind of have questions on. Especially when it comes to console games. I, I guess technically... I mean, I guess technically Nintendo would be the publisher for, like, every game on their consoles. But yeah, I really don't know how that relationship worked back then. I'm not even sure where to begin with trying to answer that. Okay, I think I did get some... Yeah, I got some of these. Let's make me not small. There we go. Next, I do know in this game, eventually you get... I think it's called, it's called a mallet, which lets you, like, uh, go from mini to normal size, basically at will. I don't know when we get that, though. 
Ooh, that's a crit. No, when I see these moves, I really need to just like go away. They don't actually lead anywhere. I guess that is a good point, because I don't think Live and Live got released like anywhere outside of Japan originally, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that was a very distinct baby. Like, I'm not gonna fight both of you. That was like the, the one spell cast I have left. Oh, okay, now I know where the poison came from. Uh, Grim, do, uh, please heal us all. Thank you. That is such good healing right now. Oh yeah, why are there so many of you? Oh my god, why are you everywhere? Oh, heck you. Soon we're coming up on... Yep, definitely a boss soon. I'm gonna preemptively... Not the candy. Thanks. Hopefully... Uh, Bob's magic isn't gonna be too important for this upcoming bit. Oh, hi. Thanatos, I presume? Indeed. I've heard much about you. You have beaten LNA, which means you are no ordinary fool. Yeah, we're extraordinary fools. Hand over Pamela and Dyla, and stop whatever you're doing to the people of the kingdom. Hmm, how amusing. You show some spirit, at least. I suppose this is the Pamela to whom you were referring. Unfortunately for you, I've already drained her energy. She's now my faithful servant. I mean, you can still undrain her, right? That's how the thing works. Destruction. Well, you're, you're gonna face your face. It's only a matter of time before all nations fall before the might of the fortress. Then there will be order. Without life force, no one has a chance against a might such as ours. I'm starting to get some really big, like, Hojo vibes from this guy right now. And I don't like it. Oh. Well, that was abrupt. And boss time. Your life force will be collected in that room. Don't struggle. Hey, don't tell me what to do. Oh, the wall. Lead and glare. Level three. Okay, that didn't actually do much damage. Why are all my attacks missing? Why are all my attacks missing? Uh, seriously. Okay, there's a freaking hit. Take that. Okay, as long as you heal the one I'm not hitting, I'm fine. Okay, one down. What do you mean, revive? That is... Oh, that's actually gonna be terrible for me. I hate how all of my attacks are missing. Why are all of my attacks missing? Why? 
How can every single one of my attacks miss? I'm calling actual bullcrap on that. Uh, why is why is it moving closer? Why why, why is it moving? Please stop moving. I, I never said you could move. Oh, this is gonna be an instant death, isn't it? I just can't hit this thing. Oh, we're dead. Oh, that is some bull crap. Like, I couldn't even hit half my attacks. Well. I mean, the thing is, I couldn't do anything else. Because I I, there, I didn't have any access to MP recovering items, so I couldn't use any more spells from from Bob, and Prim doesn't have any offensive spells of her own. I, I don't know what I even could have done there. I, uh, well, I, I guess that that's the point that we're going to be doing a heck and raid then. Yeah, this is where we want to spam either Earth Slide or Diamond Missile because normal attacks aren't always enough to kill it. I mean, I only had three MP on Bob going into that fight. And I, I checked the item shop for MP recovering items. They didn't have MP recovery items. So I there, there was no way I was I should I would have yeah there's no way I would have known that that would be the requirement. Uh. Yeah, old game mechanics indeed. Yeah. Uh, all right. But yeah, let's go look for somebody that can raid. Uh, do, who's doing the things? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. you are doing a potential thing. You are doing a potential thing. Let me get the uh, potential streams loaded up real quick on my side. Uh, to do. So many options. I can only pick one. Uh, no, let's raid somebody. I don't really. I, I, I kind of wish I could raid them more, but I, I mean, honestly, I feel like I, I want to raid everybody more. But this is a person I, I don't really get to even, like visit their streams very often anymore these days, which makes me kind of. Wait. Okay. He, you just uploaded, uh, put up like a, a thing for like a birthday stream thing, but apparently I was back in March. I was kind of wondering why you put it up just now, but anyway. Yeah, let, let's let's go give Lance a good old heckin' raid. Yeah, let, let's chill out there. He's doing some Elden Ring. I think he's trying to do some like DLC stuff right now, which honestly I don't really do much for the like, Elden Ring or Souls like stuff like that. But Lance is a cool heckin' bean. Always fun to watch and hang out with. So let's go. Okay, I do not want to do the uh, exclamation marks. That is not actually a thing. All right, there's a new like raid browser thing we can do like uh, yeah, you could, you could use, like filters for stuff you want to raid stuff like that. But anyway, I know who I'm raiding. We're raiding Lance. Raiding Lance the Seven Imberwolf. All right, uh, oh raid message, raid message, raid message. I am bad at raid messages. Um, Len Lencio. I I can't think of a raid message. Help. I, I am so bad with raid messages. Actually, you know what? Actually, no, I, I think I have one. Okay, so we'll do this as, as our raid message. So, will you be sharing those onion rings? Because, you know, he, he's playing Elden, Elden Ring, and, and this is a joke that totally nobody's ever done in their life since the game came out. Ha 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 ha. But uh, yeah, so if you don't have my emotes, feel free to use pretty much any kind of emotes that you feel like are appropriate. That they pretty much would all work at this point. But uh, yeah, we'll go raid Lance with that. And uh, yeah, so anything special going on? Yeah, I, I think we, yeah, we don't have anything too special going on stream-wise. We just have our, you know, uh, Wheel of Mr. Randall on Monday, more Iron Chronicle Tuesday and Thursday, more Steam Library Tour, yeah. So yeah, we got a pretty standard uh, schedule going on for a while, but uh, yeah. I think that's all I got for tonight, and with that, I shall see or bid you all a good night and your cat meme.